just going to go ahead and start because I know I was stuck. And that seemed to be missing a piece. I know I'm stuck. You're not fooling me. That's so I have a blanket. Oh, I use it on her, maybe. I have a blanket. I don't know what it's for. You looked a little chilly. It is a bit chilly in here. Thank you. That was sweet. Oh, no. I ended up fixing this puzzle box. Want to try it? I would love to. Oh, here, no. The wrong take girl. Side one. I figured it out! <laughs> like, okay, legit, I did look up, like, a walkthrough. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. In the walkthrough, the person merely went to the blacksmith and got the tool. And I'm like, fuck. I'm gonna have to figure it out on my own. And I legit just figured it out on my own. I had a dream about this last night, even. Like, I figured it out, but it had to do with potatoes. And it's like, well, that's not right. Because I don't remember potatoes. And I remember being very confused when I woke up like, did I look up how to solve it? And I had a dream about it? Or did I just... Anyway. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I'll push it this way. So now that can go here, hmm. and then that can go. Move. Almost there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, move. we did it! Got it. Got it. We just had a romantic moment. Could you play me a melody to help me sleep? How about something with a bow and some strings? You said violins. Doesn't solve anything. <laughs> I was slightly disappointed there was no mention of me that night. Grandpa, boys aren't the only things the girls talk about? <laughs> I learned that lesson long ago. Yeah, it was pretty easy. at the door. Just a moment. Be there in a jiffy. Yeah, I get that. It's been forever. You're looking... Healthy? No. Hagatha. So <laughs> nice to see you. Just restart. Morgan, your English is coming along superbly. Well, thanks for noticing. Glad to join me for a spot of tea. <laughs> Now, Hagatha, I know better than to set foot inside this tower, but I do appreciate the invitation. Well, she knows this no, guy's a man. You might like it better in the air. The view is quite nice, and if it ever rains, we move. I grew up in a cave, so I'm fine with a small, cold room with a view of rubble. Speaking of small and cold, please tell him to be careful with this. The message will be received. I'm serious, Maldon. I've spent my life coated in a thin layer of cosmolotion. It's a potion. It's not a panacea. Is Do that going know. to a frog? Oh, I almost forgot. He wanted to return this book he borrowed. Said he doesn't need it anymore. Ah, yes. How to tame your dragon. Did you ever find old Dwoggle? It'll return when it's tired of feeding off werebears and lost travelers. A balanced breakfast indeed. Ha! 
Good day, Morden. Oh my gosh. Always a pleasure. Ah. The no goblin pleasure, dude. That was his Fare thee well. Dragon we we freed? Maybe. One night, Hagatha invited us all to her pretty princess ball. I was nervous and excited. Tonight we shall have our pretty princess ball. It will be everything we've always dreamed of. Oh, we gotta dance. Hmm. How are they enjoying themselves? This woman's holding them captive. It's, it's, it's. <laughs> it's freaking, we're doing the wave now. Does this sound okay? We have to laugh every time. <laughs> How long does this go on? This is going on a long time. <laughs> this is going on a long time. Was I supposed to be memorizing? Oh god, I haven't been paying attention. I've just been blindly pressing buttons. Oh no. Oh no! Not graceful! That's not a princess move! Uh oh. It's turn, turn, twist! Not twist, turn, turn! What are you talking about? There's no. Can't you find me, foolish phone boy? This is a really new game. Oh wait. That was quite fun, actually. Thanks to you. Oh, what a glorious evening. Oh, thank you, ladies. No, you can't tell him how to find it, Cannon Kev. It was at that moment, Hagatha realized she had everything she wanted inside the tower. Her happy ending was right in front of her. She would freeze time to keep that moment forever. I wonder if I could make a large enough batch of fresh tonic. <laughs> you and Graham are so sweet. Oh, shh. Hush up. That night, my nervous anxiety turned to happy butterflies. Oh, no. I went to bed with a smile on my face. I had won some favor with Hagatha, and she sent me on a special mission. Princess Graham, the time has come. I have a very special mission for you. This magic won't last long, but I need you to bring me back the keys of harmony. Your spell will teleport you back here once you pick it up. I need to make sure I can trust you. No, oh, I went somewhere with the book. You know, Grandpa, I think you told me this part. Are you sure you're not getting the stories mixed up again? Sadly, this is not a senior moment, I'm afraid. Sorry, foolish phone boy. 
This is all about the game. The game is so pretty. Ah, someone fancied himself quite the storyteller. Those potions smell pungent and acidic, but hmm, oddly familiar. The book collection had grown over the years. The sorcery of old looked like a new edition. <laughs> Just the little things of animation, like him tucking in his feet. The room seemed lonelier without the loud rumbling of a certain dragon's snore. I hope that beast was enjoying his freedom. What a comfortable bed. That helmet sounds familiar. As it should. <laughs> Teaching English as a second language. We're going to run into someone we know. Again. Yeah, here he is. To stand up straight. And then I hid again. Bring it over here. It'll take all night to prepare. Must we go through with this? I knew After it. gazing upon Hagatha's face, I question the validity of that elixir. Hagatha's enchantments are stunted by the tower she locked them away in. Out here, with a little air, this sorcery can reach its full potential. We'll have to let this sit overnight. For now... Oh no! We sleep! I want to voice my concerns again, brother. You, of all people, should know what it's like to wear a mask all your life. A scarf that obscures your vision. A helmet that hides your face! This body has taken my mind as far as it can go. Now, good night. Please snuff the torch. Oh, no. Our parents were wrong to hide you from the world, but at least they didn't forget about you. No, instead they fed you, they read to you, they raised you as their own. I was a whipping boy for 16 years. For what? A stupid goblin prank? Watch your tongue, brother. You're beginning to sound like a human. A silly goblin took you in from the cold. A dull goblin taught you to read, and a stupid goblin gave you a second chance at life. Please forgive me. I misspoke. Am I wrong to believe that the mind is what should matter? Is my trust in brains over brawn misplaced? Is that hair I or a hat? I think it's a hat. To prove that Given the right resources, our species is capable of higher thought. And that even a silly little goblin can lead this kingdom. That's the change I want.